Good evening uh, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to a new video guide for uh, finding solutions for voice attack and star citizen. Um, today I would like to give you an overview how we are able to use voice attack simul uh, simultaneously with uh, TeamSpeak. A lot of people ask me how can I use uh, both uh, programs um, together because uh, both of them uh, recognize um, voice input. And uh, sometimes when you're talking to your friends and team speak, you get across with uh, some of uh, the commands from your voice attack profile, and then he executes um, some commands which you don't normally want to be activated. Um, so I made. Uh, I will give you two options. The first one is uh, for all of you who use um, team speak with a uh, push to talk. And the other option is for people which uh, don't use push to talk and where TeamSpeak recognizes everything which they may speak into their microphone. So let's start out uh, with the first option because this is uh, the one with the which uh, most of you normally use. Um, using TeamSpeak together with the text, uh, sorry, with the push to talk button. So I have my TeamSpeak here on the left side. And I will bring up my voice attack here on the right side. As you may see, at the moment it is muted because uh, there's a stop sign on my headset. And um, my team speak is also not listening to me because at the moment it's um, put to push to talk modus. Now, now we want to find a way to make team speak listening to me while uh, voice attack stops listening to me. So that's why I will turn on my voice attack now. And at the moment, listening is resumed, so he's listening to everything I say. When I now give uh, any word inside my microphone, which may be um, a, a command which I have defined within my profile, um, then he will execute it. But it was only a word which I would like to speak to my friends. So. Let me give you an overview when you're using TeamSpeak with a text-to-speak option, a push-to-talk option, sorry, you will find it on the, this panel here. And here you can uh, define your push-to-talk button. Uh, for our demonstration, I put it to uh, a key on the numpad, which is uh, the delete button. On my German numpad, it's a uh, commenter. But that doesn't matter, just make sure that you don't uh, get any button which already is defined within Star Citizen. Take a blank button. So I said I want to use uh, the numpad, the delete button there. And when I press this button, I want uh, TeamSpeak to listen to you, to me. And now here comes uh, the solution if you want voice attack to be uh, turned off. Within that moment, you push the button. Therefore, you will find an option within the uh, global options button here on voice attack where you find uh, you find it under the screw and when we open it we want to use the third option here recognition global hotkey make sure that you in the end have uh, the same than me important is push not listen which means when I push a button which is defined here on the very back he should not listen to me and when I open this here, you can open this uh, via this click to change button. Um, you will get a new window which is called global hotkey. And you want to define it. I defined it uh, as uh, the delete button on my numpad, which is the same one which I put into my team speak as the push to talk button. So the important is when uh, you've uh, defined your key that you choose the third option. When uh, the hotkey is pressed, voice text stops listening while keys are down. And uh, please have a look at the, the last options where it's uh, told do not allow key to be passed through. Um, if you have a cross right in front of it, please uh, uh, decross it or pass the cross away. <laughs> Just important that it looks uh, like here on my screen in the end. So um, what was uh, what will this do? While you press down the button you've defined here, voice attack will stop listening uh, as long as uh, the key pressed is pressed down. And 
as far as we defined uh, the push to talk button within TeamSpeak, TeamSpeak is listening to you while this button is pressed down. So we synchronize both uh, this button to make voice attack stop listening and make TeamSpeak become listening. And uh, this is the simple magic about it. Just make sure that you press OK after you did this. And now for demonstration. Yes, uh, keep your eyes here on the very top of uh, my voice attack. And keep your eyes also please on the blue dot uh, left to my name. And you will recognize when I now press uh, the button which I have defined. I will do it now. That you can see. Uh, within voice attack, listening suspended. On the other hand, on the left side, the blue dot uh, within TeamSpeak, just left to my name, becomes uh, lighted. This means voice attack isn't listening at the moment, the listening is suspended, and TeamSpeak is listening to me because I press uh, the push to talk button at the moment so everyone can hear me. So when I release the button now, at the moment I have it still pressed, when I release the button now, then voice attack listening is resumed and within TeamSpeak listening is muted. So my microphone, sorry, <laughs> is muted. Um, yeah, that's what we want. As far as we speak to our uh, guys within uh, the TeamSpeak channel, we want voice attack to be suspended so that he didn't recognize any of our commands, maybe. Um, that is uh, the first option for the most of you. The second option is a little bit more tricky, but it's working. That's uh, for all of uh, you who use TeamSpeak with, um, without push to talk. So the microphone is recognizing everything. Um, what I speak into my microphone, as you can see, uh, the blue dot is highlighted all the time. And voice attack is still listening to what I say. So when I say any words, which is also a command within my profile, but it was meant for my bodies uh, on TeamSpeak, uh, VoiceTech will execute it. And sometimes you come along a word which is also a command within VoiceTech, but it was meant for your colleagues. So what you want to do now, you want to do two commands within your profile. The first is on, the second one is off. Um, when I say on, I want uh, to start voice attack listening and when I say off I want uh, voice attack to stop uh, listening to what I say so I can speak normally to my guys within TeamSpeak. These commands are uh, made very easily. I will open the first one and I define when I say on please you will find this option under um, over the button other the first option will be make voice attack start listening. So when I say on, please listen to what I say. That's okay. And the second one, off. You want to stop voice attack listening to what you say because you want to speak to your buddies uh, at TeamSpeak. You will find this also under other. With the second option, make voice attack stop listening. So these are the both commands you need. You can define the spoken words as you want, but keep it very short as a tip. And please throw your eye to voice attack as far as TeamSpeak is still listening without push to talk. Now I say aus. And as you see, he recognized my command, which is off, in or German it's aus, and he suspended the listening. So at the moment, he's not listening to what I say, he will not execute any commands, and you can do this while you are in the game because um, because it is the global it's a global command. Um, and when you're done with a chat with your friends, you just say an an oops, ah. and you can see he's resumed because. Um, the key is pressed once more. An. And uh, now he's listening to all I say and he can execute the commands which are defined within our profile. So these are the both options you may choose for bringing TeamSpeak and Voice Attack together. I think both options are very easy to define. Um, make your own decision which one you want to use. 
but as you can see it's very easy to get TeamSpeak and WeatherTech uh, together to work together and to run uh, simultaneously while you are playing Star Citizen. So have one fun with this video. If you have any problems please uh, don't hesitate to contact me via RSI forums or wherever you want. Leave a comment on uh, the video beneath. And yeah, see you soon. I don't know what will be the next information which I pulled into my video, but I hope it will be very useful for you. And have fun for this time. Goodbye.